and women. We will be with you in a moment, so sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy some curling.
Once again, I'd like to welcome everybody here to the Potomac Curling Club at the National Capital Curling Center in wonderful Laurel, Maryland, just 20 minutes outside of D.C. Welcome to the first match. This is Men's Draw 1 featuring Team Dunham with Scott Dunham, Andrew Stopera, Andrew Dunham, and Stephen Semple playing against Team Mullaney. Skipped by Evan Mullaney, Vice Nicholas Glazer, second Hunter S Secor, and lead Jeremy Wong. I apologize if I mispronounced your name. The game has officially started, so we will clear our logo and watch the first rock go down the ice. I've been informed it's Hunter's Secor, so good curling. The first rock is on the way. Looks a little speedy to my eyes, but then again, I haven't played on this ice. And these teams have played a lot. And the lead is going into the house. Not a bad start. Ooh. Looks like it's just too far. Lead, Jeremy Wong. They're really sweeping hard, trying to get it as close as they can. And they're going to end up putting it in the house. and a successful hit. Skip Mullaney calling for his lead to, uh, to again put it in the house. Top 12, exactly what the skip called for. Oh, they couldn't hold it, and he, f and Dunham flashes their second's first rock. Looks like Skip Dunham's going to try this again, opting for the hit and roll. Pl 
plenty of speed. Hit and rolls over just a little bit.
This looks like a very nice rock. He's going to roll over. Winds up wide open, but not a bad try. If Skip Dunnan can make his final shot, he will force Mullaney to draw for one. Dunham hits and almost rolls behind the guard, but Mullaney should have a nice draw for one with backing. Mullaney with La Hammer. Going for the plain draw. And the sweepers are going to let it rest just behind the T line, but that's enough to take one. While we have a moment here, let's take a look at the scoreboard. Mullaney winds up with a draw for one on the first end here at the GNCC Playdowns. Again, this is men's draw number one, so we're still very early in the tournament. Teams are still trying to figure out the ice. Team Mullaney, featuring Lee, Jeremy Wong, second Hector, Vice Nicholas Glazer, and skip Evan Mullaney. With Hammer in this second end, it's Team Dunham. Stephen Semple at lead, Andrew Dunham at second, Andrew at vice, and Scott Dunham as skip. I've been informed those are the wrong positions. I will attempt to fix that and be back with you in just a moment.
So I believe we've corrected Team Dunham with Andrew as lead, Steven as second, Andrew as vice, and Scott as skip. Mullaney got the hit, but he left his rocks just close enough together for Dunham to try the double. And Dunham has overcurled for the double, but does manage to hit, and I believe winds up as second shot, let's take a look at the overhead cam. Now, as you can see, Team Mullaney is still 1-2 with Dunham sitting in third position. Oh, no. 
Mullaney misses the hit on Dunham's Red Rock, hits his own and spills both the shot rock and the shooter. Leaving Dunham with an easy hit and sit for two and Mullaney shouldn't be able to do anything about that. But then again, this is curling folks, you have to make the shot. Dunham gets the hit and sticks around in the house. Exactly what he, what he needed to do. He did leave Mullaney with the freeze option. If Mullaney can freeze to Dunham's shot rock on the right-hand side of your screen, he'll be able to force Dunham to draw for one. This is Mullaney's last rock. It looks like Mullaney is going for the freeze. But he did not curl over far enough. He's going to leave his rock wide open, leaving Dunham with the easier hit and stick for three. Scott Dunham throwing hammer in the second end. If he throws it perfect, he's got a chance for three here. Well, he's definitely hit the yellow rock, but he hits his own as well and winds up spilling, but he still sits two, and that's not bad with hammer. I'm sure he would have loved to get the three, but you know what? Two's nice. So taking a look at the scoreboard, Mullaney got one with, one with a hammer in the first end. Dunham, with hammer in the second end, managed to score two. So we'll go ahead and start the third end here at the Potomac Curling Club at the National Capital Curling Center. I'd like to welcome all the people watching our live broadcast here from the Potomac Curling Club. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat window, and we will do our best to answer them.
Team Dunham with a low scoring shot here. Mullaney has a nice chance to double these out and recover his chance for two.
It appears some of our users are having some technical difficulties. Can you let me know if you can hear the sound of my sultry voice? I apologize for our technical di difficulties, everyone. I forgot to turn on the video feed. So <laughs> you should now be seeing the video as well as hearing my voice. I have a seven page manual for this system. It's all text, so I apologize. I'll get better as the day goes on, folks. As he's saying, as one of my fellow curlers said, yes, I did write the manual. It's still a long manual. Looking at the overhead here, it looks like the red rock is just out of the house on the right side of your screen. So yellow should be able to hit and sit for one or hit and roll out for a blank end. But then again, I'm not the official. So my statements are not fact.
That was a fantastic hit and roll by Skip Mullaney. Looks like they're going to blank the end and move on to the fourth. The Vices are calling for a measurement. We'll watch the official come out. He gets to use our fun little biter bar. So after the measurement, we have confirmation that the third end is a blank end. So looking at our entire match here, you can see that Team Mullaney has started with the hammer and was forced to draw for one in that game, in that end. Team Dunham picked up two in the second end, and here in the third end, we just had a blank. So we're moving on to the fourth, and we will start whenever the players are ready.
Yes, folks, those stones are not in the house, which means the free guard zone applies. Well, they managed to take out the shot rock, but they did not manage to clear out the center. And with Hammer, Mulaney really wants to keep the center clear just in case he has to draw at the end.
excellent last rock from Skip Dunham. He is currently sitting two with no yellow rocks in the house, and Shot Rock is guarded very well. Once again, folks, if you have any questions or are having any technical difficulties, please let us know in the chat window. You do have to register in order to chat with us, but you don't have to register to watch our video or, or hear my voice and hear this lovely game of curling. Wow. Oh. I don't know, folks. It was one red, but that was just a fantastic try by Skip Mullaney. Chat's a little light this morning. It is, after all, still the still 9 a.m.
Dunham gets the hit and sticks around. Mullaney almost gets the double, but not quite. He still did a nice clearing of the guard and putting up his own corner as well. That rock is not in the house, folks.
It does look like red is sitting 1-2 with yellow as third shot and red as fourth shot in the top left of your screen. Mullaney does have a long double here, but if he misses, he gives up a steal of two. Went for it and got one, but Mullaney still gives up a steal of one to Team Dunham. We're going to take a quick break here, as is tradition here in curling, the fifth end break. Reviewing the scoreboard, Mullaney had the hammer and took one in the first end. But since then, it's been all Team Dunham with the hammer taking two in the second, blanking the third, and stealing one in both the fourth and the fifth ends. We'll be back in a few minutes with the second half of the game.
stock or private interest? And we'd like to welcome you back here to the Potomac Curling Club men's draw number one. On sheet B, we are featuring Team Dunham against Team Mullaney. And here we go.
So a quick update for those of you tuning in for some of our other sheets. Over on sheet A, in the sixth end, the score is three to four with Unterborn leading Soslavic. Here on sheet B, Dunham is leading Mullaney, four to one. Over on sheet C, McMakin is leading Clawson, 10 to two, also in the sixth end. And on sheet D, Dunt is leading Elliot Pendroza, five to two, also in the sixth end. That's a very nice shot from Team Mulaney there. Hits and rolls over, sitting in front of Dunham, so he's got a little bit of backing. He's definitely out far enough. Hits and takes out both of the pack rocks. Welcome, David. Glad you're joining us from Tulsa. We don't really have a favorite here in the first draw. Teams are still kind of feeling out the ice, and so it's a little early to say who's in the lead. But as the games develop and we move further on into the schedule, we'll definitely have some favorites going into the next games. Draws three, five, and especially once we get into the double digits on Saturday. For all the score updates, schedules, and team bio bios, what, what there are of the juniors teams, you can go to our website, curldc.org, click on the big live button, and eventually you'll find links to both the men's and the women's curling zone live scores and statistics. and rolls out.
Laney looked a little heavy here. He's actually going to draw to the back of the house. Dunham tries to sweep it, but he'll stick in the back. Dunham with an easy decision here. He needs to hit that rock. As a reminder, this is a timed match. Both teams with over 34 minutes remaining, so no one's really in danger right now. Mulaney hits the sticks. It's all right, that was Dunham who hit and stuck. Evan Mullaney with the hammer. Oh, they need it to curl a little more. Oh, no. Oh, no. He flashes. Disappointing end to the sixth end. Dunham's going to steal another point and takes the lead 5-1, to one, extending his lead. Mulaney really hasn't been doing well since the first end. He was forced to draw for one when he had the hammer in the first end. And since then, Mulaney has really just been able to keep putting points on the board. Sorry, Dunham's been able to keep putting points on the board. Mulaney's had a couple chances, but it just hasn't really come together for him. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. And while we're at it, let's take a look at our team lineups. That, those rocks are frozen. I'm not sure if that's what he wanted, but that's a very nice freeze.
This is one heck of a rocket, folks. But it does the job. Team Mulaney does an excellent job of putting that guard right back. And Dunham takes it right out. <laughs> 